Hey everyone, what's up? How's it going? I'm Mariah and today we're going to be painting this 16 by 20 inch canvas, so let's get into it. So you guys, I'm so sorry that I haven't posted a new painting video in a while. I'm in my new space and I finally, I think, have the setup a little more down. The last time I tried to film a painting video, I had my two cameras set up and basically I couldn't get myself and the painting in the same shot, so I had to kind of move my table. Long story short, I hope this works out better. I did notice that I'm kind of backlit and the lighting on my face is bad, but hopefully you can see the painting and I'll try to do a little bit of editing so that hopefully it'll improve the lighting situation. Thank you for bearing with me as I kind of figure out how to best film in my new setup for you guys. But anyway, I haven't done a lot of pour paintings lately just because, again, my setup has been kind of strange. I've done a lot of different other kinds of paintings in the meantime, and if you've missed those, go check out my Instagram and you can see what I've been working on. But today I just wanted to do a kaleidoscope painting. I used to call it a bloom technique, which I knew that name wasn't going to stick because there's another technique that uses that same name, so I'm going to call this the kaleidoscope technique from now on. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a base down and then lay our colors out, drag it out with a little pen, and then you'll see what I mean by kaleidoscope effect. Today I'm gonna start off with a purple base. We wanna make sure that there's plenty of paint on the canvas. Next I'm gonna dot some white on the canvas. Now I've got red and I'm going to fill in the other spots. Now I'm going to use dark blue. I'm not sure if other artists have done something like this before, but how I came up with the idea is based on mandalas, which I really like to make. So it's kind of just making a pattern on the piece and then I'm going to take a little skewer and drag it out so it kind of blooms and we'll get the kaleidoscope effect. But there's really no rules with this technique. You can put paint on the canvas anywhere you want, drag it out, and then see what you get. Like you'll see that this is not looking perfectly symmetrical, but that's fine because when we drag it out, it's gonna get a little messy anyways. Now I've got teal green. And the last color I'm going to use is a light metallic pink. As you can see, it's starting to get a little bit messy. This one kind of looks like tie-dye, but again, messy is fine because we're just gonna kind of blend it all together anyways. We don't wanna blend it too much that all the colors go together, but a little bit is fine. And now I'm just gonna keep adding colors until I feel that there's enough paint on the canvas and I'm happy with the design. As you can see now that the whole painting is getting pretty messy, I'm getting very loose with where I'm putting the paint. Again, it's just kind of up to your personal preference. You can be very precise with it, but I tend to drive myself crazy if I try to stay too precise because I'm bound to make mistakes. That's just me. But you can kind of take this technique and modify it however you want. That's the beauty of art. You can make it anything that your heart desires. Or you might end up with some happy accidents. I've got enough paint on the canvas here. I am going to add a little bit of white on the edges just to make sure. Now I'm going to take my little skewer and I'm going to drag it through all the spots that I want to kind of blend together, but I want to be careful not to blend it together too much. So now I've dragged the skewer through every different part of the painting and it's very much looking tie-dye kaleidoscope so I'm hoping that once I tilt it out it'll just be a very cool psychedelic effect. Fingers crossed, let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. 
So it's definitely not staying in the initial pattern that I put down on the canvas. And that is because some of these paints are different consistencies, but I am still really, really enjoying the way that they're blending together. So fingers crossed for the final results. I love it so far. I am very pleased with this. I hope it dries as good as it looks now. The only thing I'm not loving, this white paint, and it is a different, the white paint was pre-mixed, so it kind of makes sense that it wasn't the same consistency as the ones that I mixed myself. So the white is not flowing as easily as the other paints. You can kind of tell because it's looking a little blobby. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm first gonna touch up all the edges and make sure the whole canvas is covered. And then I'm gonna take my little skewer and kind of doodle and drag paint around to make it a little more interesting. Okay, now that the whole canvas is covered, I'm just gonna take my little skewer and kinda doodle around in the white areas to make them a little more interesting, but I really don't wanna mess with this piece too much because I really like it as is. with it too much because I'm bound to mess it up if I play with it too much but I really like the way it looks right now Lord knows it will not dry the same way that it looks right this moment we can pray but I don't think so but I'm really loving it right now so I can't wait to show you guys how it looks dry thank you so much for watching if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up and comment down below and I will see you next Thursday at 5 p.m. Pacific time for my next video bye